Let's have a look how Tesla was doing enabling investments to support the sales of its cars. We will start by looking at the demand side. First of all, they convinced governments and regulators to support electric cars usage. This made the electric cars not that expensive in comparison with traditional cars. Thanks to subsidies they became, to some extent within the reach of a bigger group of potential customers. They were still pretty pricey, yet not exorbitant. They have also managed to develop infrastructure to facilitate the use of electric cars, for example they have built the superchargers network. Without the charging stations the cars were to a large extent useless. That is why, the creation of net of superchargers was so important. To help with the cost of electricity they have additionally invested in solar production capacity. They have taken over Solar City that is installing solar panels for individual consumers. They have also created a big battery for the home, the so-called power wall. On top of that, they are creating integrated roof that can produce electricity from solar energy. This is the so-called solar roof. All those actions are attempts to make the product much cheaper to use. Thanks to decreasing cost of electricity, a larger pool of customers would be interested in adopting electric cars. They took also care of another big obstacle, the insurance. They have decided to provide car insurance for Tesla cars. Since they had a lot of data on how people are driving, they could quite easily provide the proper type of insurance to a specific driver. Now, let's see what we can do on the supply side. First of all, they have built the cars from a scratch to simplify the design. They have also eliminated a large number of intermediaries and have created own components for the cars. Batteries are a big part of costs of electric car. Therefore, they have decided to build their own factory of batteries. They have also done that because there was no sufficient amount of batteries on the market. Without that, they would not be able to grow their cars sales. On top of that, to deal with the problem of expensive employees in USA, they have automated the work in the factories. In this way fewer employees were needed. Finally, let's take a look at the distribution side. Their first move on the distribution side was very interesting. They have decided to build their own retail chain to sell cars. Most car brands would sell through dealerships. They have also combined service centers with sales centers. On top of that, they have created Tesla Rangers, mobile technicians who can service vehicles at your house. So, that's in short. I hope that those case studies helped you understand how to use enabling investments in practice.